Introducing Bozo, the world's most famous clown. Never go unless you come along. Bozo, bozo, always laughs, never frowns. Bozo, 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 the clown. Well, how there, boys and girls? It's your circus pal Bozo here again, trying to balance this newspaper. It's a little trick my pal Professor Tweety Foofer taught me. He's gonna be here in a little while. You know, also Clank the Tin Can Man's gonna stop by and we're gonna have fun with him. And a very good friend of mine, Coco the Clown, is gonna do some fantastic juggling for us. Boy, I tell you, it's gonna be an exciting big time Bozo Big Top show today. Boy, I tell you, how'd you like the way I did? You see what it is? It was a tricky trick and I must learn to do it someday. <laughs> I just realized we haven't picked my helper, my sidekick, my butch for a date. So I thought we'd go around first of all and have you meet all the pals who are here today. Come on and meet my bozo buddies. Will you all sit up straight and tall? Because today, one of you bozo buddies is going to be my helper, my sidekick, my butch for a date. As we swing around the big top circus ring to show all those happy smiling faces. Whoa, eka zowie. Look at them all here in the center ring. Of course, you know, smiling makes you feel good whether you smile inside or outside because people just like to look at boys and girls with smiles on it. It makes you feel good, too. You know how Bozo picks his butch, don't you? I go right to the center of the Bozo TV circuit ring. I close my eyes real tight, and then I go into my magic Bozo pain. <laughs> Michael, is that Michael? Would you come in for a second? Let's see. A fella right back there. Well, hi. You're Michael who? Nice meeting you, Michael. How old are you today? Six years old. Oh, you do have a little bit of a squeak. Stand right here because I would like to crown you officially. Mr. Ringmaster, would you bring in the royal coat and the hat, please? Boy, real fancy dancing right over here. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> well, here's the hat for you. I think that'll be a good fit. Put it this way, Michael. And I'd like to have you try on the coat to see that it does fit. There it is. Just put your hand right through. And we also have a goodie bag for you with all kinds of goodies. Let me just take the goodie bag, Mr. Ringmaster, and I, I need this like this. We have the goodie bag, and look what else I have for you. One of our push-button bozo marionettes, and you can have all kinds of fun having them dance and things like that. So hold on to this little bozo marionette, and I'll see you later on, okay? Michael, my new butch for a day! What's that music I hear in the ring? Sounds like my pal Clay! Well, Clay! Nice to see you, but what are you doing here? Oh, Bozo, did you get all the newspapers, Bozo? The newspapers? For what? For what? For the paper drive, Bozo. That's right, for the paper drive. We've been collecting newspapers for a special paper drive. Well, Professor, if Tweety Poopers help me, Professor, do you have the papers packaged up and everything? <laughs> Come on, we have to get them all organized. They're going to pick them up there in a little while, all right? Hi, Mr. Bozo. Well, all right, well, it'll be all right. Gotta package him up neat, Professor Tweety Pooper. Clank, you package that side there, and, uh, and I'll get this side packaged up. Uh, are you sure you know how to tie, Professor? You, you seem to tie it. <laughs> Look what you're doing. You hold it, 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 and now we go. Oh. Yeah, but you're getting me tied in with it. That's no good. We gotta make nice, neat packages for the paper drive. Clank, how are you doing, all right? Oh, fine, Bozo, Good. fine. Oh, I don't know about you, but packaging all this paper makes me feel kind of hot. It's warm. Then don't you have an air conditioner, Mr. Bozo? An it's... air conditioner? Yoo-hoo! Clank, you have one, don't you? That's right, Bozo. Just press my air conditioner button, Bozo. Which button is that? Ah, uh, you got so many. One, bo. This one right there, all right. That one there, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, Clank, hold it. Hold it, turn it down. Easy. 
Oh, and turn it down just a little bit there. I'll you, adjust it, Bozo. You better adjust it there. Still look at all the papers and everything there. Wow, we cause down. We'll make it. Oh, we're not. We gotta make it neat. Well, look at this. Oh, that's a nice thing. It says <laughs> how to catch a squirrel. Did you see? How to catch a squirrel. You go up a tree. <laughs> and you make a sound like a nut. Oh, do stop that act like a <laughs> yeah. Hey, this, you know, it's fun going through these old papers and everything like that. Look at this one here. And this kind of nice. Oh! <laughs> Clank, will you Sorry, fix your no, air conditioner? No, no, the Boy, no. we're trying to get this paper organized here. You no, know, it's, and it's kind it's, of. It's, wait a minute! Weird, I forgot where the picnic will you please play? I'm making the adjustment, Bozo. Well, you better adjust it right. Maybe you can help him adjust yeah, it, have... Professor. Then you can adjust it there. I'm going to adjust it. Well, Clank, you're making all the papers blow all over the place. All right, he's going to help you. Oh, Bozo, what? I think he's done it, Bozo. On what? He's done it, Bozo. What? He turned it on. Hey, Bozo. Wait a minute. <laughs> easy. Easy now. What's going on? Wait a Professor. No. Bozo. Heidi Howdy, or Howdy Heidi, <laughs> is one of my puppet pals. Her name's Heidi, isn't she cute? What What do you want to be when you grow up, Heidi? 18. You want to be 18? No, I mean, what would you like to be? Uh, uh, I, you know, like a, a profession or something like that. Oh, I like to be anything. What would you like to be, Mr. Bobo? You know, I never thought about it. What would I like to be? I don't know. What would I like to be? I just don't know. What should I be? Oh, Millie, what do you think? What's up, Bozo? I'm going to night school. I'm going to learn to be a mouthpiece. A mouthpiece? Yeah, a lawyer. Let's see now. The address is 127 Oak Street. Oak Street. Golly, Bozo, don't forget the address. I never forget, Butchie Boy. The address is 127L. Oh, Pine. Oh, Mahogany. I got it. 127 Birch. That's it. 127 Birch Street. This must be the place. Golly, Bozo, are you sure this is your night school? Sure, I'm sure, Butch. That's the new Ivy League look. Hope we're not late to class. Yes? Whoops! Er, uh, are we in time for class? You must be the replacements. Are you 30? Uh, yeah, and Butch here is 9. Enter 30 and 9. I'm 99. <laughs> 99? Golly, you don't look that old. <laughs> That's not so funny. This is my accomplice, 13. 13? He's kind of big for his age, ain't he? You'll make good replacements. Nobody will recognize you in that clown outfit. Follow me. First, we shall take up how to blow up a bridge. How to blow up a bridge? Blow up a bridge? Hey, that's sabotage. Of course. What else? Also, this is no night school. We're mixed up in a spy ring. This is against the law. I demand your surrender. Wait, you, wait, you're not number 30. You, you're spying on us spies. Uh oh When I want your help, I will ask for it, OK? OK. Now, where did they go? We can't let them escape. Quick, put your boy, out this door. Aha, uh -huh. I got you. Ahem. I'm growing angry at that clown. Not so fast! I got you! Oh, Dad, I never saw it. <coughs> My friend, would you mind getting lost? Come on, Butch! Let's skedaddle! Not so fast! You guys give me bad time. No, I take you to boss. After you, sir. No, you don't. You first. Ooh. 
me! I make boo boo. No! Oops! This is for you. Thanks, mister. Wonder what it is. Hmm. Tunt. Tint. T-N-T. That don't spell nothing. Bozo, that's T-N-T. That stuff is dynamite. Get rid of it, Butch. No, oh, I got you. No, yes. Take this to your leader. Hey, Chief. Oh, no. But every time I just I never saw. I know, I know. Get lost. Quick, Butch, behind the drapes. I got you. Thanks, pal. Well, I never took with the this guy. Every time he What are you saying? We never saw you make it. You come in there. Oh, please! We got a couple of spy guys here. Take this! And that! And that! And you better hurry, Chief. They won't last much longer. Extra! Extra! Bozo smashes spy ring! Extra! They might let me join the FIB for this. <laughs> Do you know what? We haven't had our special game here in the Bozo Big Top. And right now we got a ding-dong dandy Duncan type of game. A Duncan for Apples game. I'd like to have you meet our players though. First of all, how are you? What a nice smile, boy. Nelly, I love to see smiles like that. What's your name? Cheryl what? Nice meeting you, Cheryl. And who's this? David, it's nice shaking hands with you. It's a pleasure meeting all my pals. You know how to dunk for apples, I'm sure. Well, we play this a little differently. Bring in our apples, will you, Mr. Ringmaster? Wowee kazowie, we have three bucketfuls of delicious apples and one bucket for each of you. The object is very simple. What you have to do is to see who can get the bucket. But I tell you, you know what? I'm going to do it a little differently rather than having it on the counter because can you reach it all right there? Just let me see if you can get one. Yeah, I guess you can if you stretch a little. I'm going to move them back here so you'll have plenty of room right to the edge. <laughs> Don't drop the whole bucket of apples on you. And now this is how we do it. The one who can get the most number of apples without using his hands is going to be the winner. Okay? Just put it right in front when you, when you get it in your teeth. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Yeah, just take a big bite out of there. Can you make it all set there? Oh, there's one of my pals got one. All right, I'll get it for you. You got one over there. There we go. Oh, who got that one out? Did you get that one out? Oh, there's two. She got two. All right, one for you, two for you. You can have a nice clean face after this, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Don't be, don't be afraid to get your face wet, because just clean water. we got nice towels for you here. Let's get it right in there. Oh, almost, almost there. There we go, there's one. Put your face right in there. Don't be afraid. Just get it right up there. Did you get there? Come on, Cheryl. Just don't eat it in there. Just take it out. That's all you have to do. Okay. That's on our time limit. is up. If you'll all see. <laughs> Let me just look at you just for a second. What a nice, clean face that is. You all got a nice, clean face on the thing. Well, I tell you, we have a two and two and one there. We got a tie between the boy and the girl. What do we got for Mr. Ringmaster? Some nice... Oh, wowee. For the girl, we got a beautiful mystery date game I think you'll have fun with, and a special erector set for you to be a young engineer. Mother pal, don't feel bad. 
we got some doubly doubly goodly good bozo pops for you, a whole gift box. I think you'll enjoy those, so hold on to those. Go see Mr. Ringmaster, he'll get you all dried out there. It's kind of a fun game to play, and this way they have their own individual buckets of barrels, that's for sure. Take care of these apples for me, Mr. Ringmaster. What's going on here? Who's blowing whistles around? Well, w w what are you doing here? Say, Bozo, uh huh? Do you know why the chicken crosses the other side of the street? Why does a chicken cross the street? To get on the other side. <laughs> will, you get, will you get out of here? Well, I don't know what that guy's doing there. He's been around here all, the, all day. Just going around and waving his stick there and everything like that. I'm just realized it's time for the Bozo Bonus Treasure Game. Bring it in, Mr. Ringmaster. Treasure chest of toys. Well, let's get Butch right down here so we can find out who. Who has a chance at our whole treasure chest. Okay, Butch, would you want to come in here for a second? There's my pal Butch. You get the honor to see who, who can win. Now just close your eyes. Pick out one of the numbers in the treasure chest. Let's see who it's going to be. It's number... 69. 69. Who's 69 here in the Bozo Circus? Thank you very much. Here's a pal. Hi, Walt. How you doing? Boy, it's nice seeing you. Bring in our spoons and glass, Mr. Ringmaster. And this is our special treasure chest. Now, what you have to do is hit this spoon so that this spoon pops into the glass like that. All you have to do is get it in once. And you have 30 seconds to do it. You can move the spoons or the glass any way you want. Good luck to you, Walt. When I say go, give it a go. Ready? On your mark, get set, go! Okay, here it is. Set up the little place, the big spoon that day. Move it around it. Oh, almost went right in. Oh, boy, that's almost. Okay, I'll get it for you. Here we go. And again, you still press once now. Almost, almost water well, even though you didn't get the spoon right in the glass, we got something for you. I know this is a brand new kind of thing that so many of your pals like to do. It's a spin art. You can make beautiful pictures just by spinning all the colors around. Enjoy it, and thank you, Walter, for being a high fire in our special photo treasure chest. Boy, what a nice lad. Well, of course, you know what happens when nobody wins our treasure chest. We keep adding toy after toy after toy. And into the treasure chest goes Cowboy Pete and a complete western town. We, we put that right under Fat Cat near the Bozo Trike there. We'll put that in there. And then we'll have another try at our treasure chest done next time. So hold on to my treasure chest, will you, Mr. Ringmaster? Not again. Now, look it, sir. I don't know who you are, but everything's under control here in the circus. What are you doing? Hey, Bozo. Uh, what? Do you know why the boy threw the butter out the window? <laughs> why the boy threw the butter out the window? No! Why did the boy throw the butter out the window? Because he wanted to see the butterflies. Would you please now? Would you stop with that? <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> oh, I don't know about that man there. I just don't know! Hoo-wee! Wowie, kazowie, have I got an exciting treat for you. Here again is my wonderful balancing pal who can do all kinds of real exciting balancing. Let's make them feel at home here at the Bozo Big Top, Coco the Clown. Whoa, Nelly Coco, nice seeing you. Oh, he's got a jug of milk here for me, all right? Hold it. All right, okay, I'll hold it for you. I always like to help Coco when he does his fantastic treats. He's got a, an ordinary piece of newspaper. We could have used that for our paper drive earlier. What's he doing? Looks like he's making a cone. He's making a cone. Yes, a cone out of the paper. Now, don't tell me he's going to balance that. You want me to pour the milk right in there? Wowie, oh, Nelly. Okay. It's heavy, don't spill any of it now. Hi, look at that. Fantabulous! Fantabulous!
Let's go. What are you doing with the milk? Coco? No, don't spill the milk on my piles. Coco! Wowee, kazowee! The milk disappeared. Oh, Coco, do some more balancing for us, please. Do some more balancing. He's going to take some more of the newspapers, all right? What you going to do now? You want... You're going to teach me how to do it, or I'll just do whatever you do. Hold it up like this. All right, okay. Like this. And just hold it up like that. Wowee. Looky, just in order. Wowee. My goodness, Coco, I don't know if I can do that or just you put up an ordinary piece of paper and it... Oh. Would you do that again? Do you think you can do that again? Would you look at that? That's fantabulous! Whoa, good! What's he gonna do now? My bozo trike? Whoa, cause oh, let me bring it into you. It's heavy. Are you sure you can balance this bozo talking trike? Oh, easy. Easy, Coco. Easy, Coco. 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 All right, let's go, Coco. Let's see if you can do it now. While Coco is balancing our trike, it'll give me a chance to say so long, all my pals. We'll see you next time for more exciting fun here under the Bozo Big Dog.